Oh, do not skip through this video. So you clicked on today's video to become a better dribbler in NBA 2K22. Well, you came to the right place. In today's video, all the information I will be giving you guys will work on not only NBA 2K22 current gen, but also NBA 2K22 next gen. I'll be giving you guys a complete dribble tutorial, advanced and simple updated moves, while also showing you guys all the animations I use and the best animations for 6'4 and under players and 6'5 or taller players. But not only that, I will be showing you guys the best settings for dribbling in NBA 2K22, the best badges for dribbling in NBA 2K22, and the best tips and tricks for dribbling in NBA 2K22. Now, all this information in this video is updated, so make sure to drop a like on this video if this video helps you out at all. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We have plenty of other content on the channel. And let's get into the video. What is good, YouTube? It's your boy Henry, aka HD, and I'm back at it with yet another banger. Today, we have a tutorial video. As you can see by the thumbnail, tell, I got a dribble tutorial for you guys. Now, once again, like I said in the intro, we're going to go over each step, right? We're going to go through the best badges, the best settings, the best tips and tricks, the best animations for 6'4 and under, 6'5 and over, and then I'm going to do the actual dribble tutorial at the end of the video. So make sure you guys watch all the way through, because if you guys do miss some steps, you might miss some key things that you might not have known before. Four. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the first step. Once again, make sure to drop a like on the video. This video helps you out at all. Subscribe to the channel. And let's get into tip number one. Alright, so we are going to start with the settings, the best settings for dribbling in NBA 2K22. Now, you're going to start by going to the options, going to settings right. Now, there's a couple things that we're going to have to go over. There's nothing really here. But, I mean, if you want to put on shot feedback, make sure to put that on all shots. But that's not really anything to do with dribbling. Now, you want to go to the controller settings. This is... The most important thing right now. Vibration, just turn it on. There's really not... No, I mean, you could turn it off, but vibration doesn't work for shooting. But, I don't know. I like getting vibration when I'm playing defense and when I'm dribbling, so I just keep it on. Shot timing, shots only, but pro stick function. This is the, one of the most important things. Now, for me, when I dribble... I have to have pro stick function on drill moves only, which means you can't dunk with the right stick and you can't shoot with the right stick. Now, you could put it on just default. Now, the reason I don't like it on default is because sometimes when I dribble, it'll make me do this like hop back or it'll make me shoot. And I don't know. This is the only 2K where it's done that for me. So I just have it on drill moves only. You can do either way. But if, but if you do find yourself doing these random hop backs or accidentally pump faking your shooting with your right stick when you're dribbling then just put it on drill moves only and the things that you have to do is make sure your pro stick orientation and your off ball offensive mode are both on absolute okay if these are not on absolute your dribbling is gonna be all messed up it's gonna be looking bad out there for you okay so make sure those are both on absolute now besides that that is really it for the settings now one more thing in the settings people have been saying that they can't see their their stamina bar in season two to fix that you have to go to jump shot splashes and just make sure the jump shot splash perfect release that has like the diamond make sure you're not using that because this is apparently what is making you able to see your stamina and if you're a dribbler if you're a good dribbler you're want you're gonna want to know when you have low stamina for obvious reasons okay so make sure you do not have that diamond thing on all right so next i'm gonna be showing you guys the best badges um playmaking badges now i'm on my point four right now i have not released this build i also haven't played a single part game on this build yet but this is a new build coming to my channel so make sure to look out for that but anyways this build gets 30 playmaking badges so here we are on the badges now ignore all of this okay let's just let you know what, let's just take all this off all right so i'm sure a lot of you don't have a crazy amount of playmaking badges i'm guessing most of you have at least like 16 playmaking badges especially if you're on a dribble tutorial but if you don't have at least 16 you probably have like a green red build that can get like an 80 ball control but listen i'm gonna tell you guys the best dribble badges the best dribbling badge is quick first step whether you get your playmaking badges on gold or hall of fame make sure these first couple badges are maxed out quick first step is one of those badges you need to make sure this is maxed out this is going to make you faster after you dribble um, especially off the first step clearly the next best badge is going to be handles for days make sure you max that out basically obviously what handles for days does is when you're dribbling you don't lose as much energy if you have it on hall of fame the next best playmaking badge is quick chain quick chain is basically gonna make your dribbling faster especially out of size ups and stuff so definitely make sure that is on hall of fame these are the three most important playmaking badges now after this you can do a lot of stuff now on current gen 
I would put Unpluckable on Bronze. If you're on Next Gen, max that out, okay? Now, after that, you're going to want to consider your passing badges. You know, you could probably put on Bailout, maybe Silver Bullet, clearly, or like Dimer or something. But if you still have Playbing badges left over after you're doing your passing badges and your main dribbling badges, then the best ones after that is going to be Hyper Drive. That's a good badge. It basically makes your dribbling when you're going when you're dribbling up and down it's going to make those dribble moves faster rather than side to side like quick chain and then tight handles is also another one this is going to stun defenders on some dribble moves and it's also going to make your dribble moves faster a lot of people have been reporting that when they have tight handles on hall of fame it makes their dribbling faster some other good playmaking badges are going to be like space creator you know it's going to stun some people maybe ankle breaker especially if a uh, playmaking takeover for general and dimer are good badges too but badges that you really shouldn't be using downhill unless you're playing threes don't use that needle threader probably not worth your playmaking badges stop and go you know unless you have like 30 playmaking badges not really worth it special delivery you know you're not going to be throwing flashy passes like that unless you're like grinding rep for lobs then you don't really need that post playmaker if you're a post score maybe triple threat juke not worth it quick first step is just a better version of that glue hands not really worth it break starter not really worth it yeah none of these badges are really worth it so as long as you have your main three playmaking badges right here and then your passing bed is down. If you have any extra, I'd go with tight handles, hyperdrive, angle breaker, one of those. And those would be the best playmaking badges for dribbling in 2K22. Now, here are some tips for dribbling in NBA 2K22. Now, the first tip, boost. Now, I don't usually buy playmaking boost, but if you find yourself, you know, getting ripped a lot or you're trying to throw lobs and they're not going through, you could buy playmaking boost, especially if you're finding yourself get ripped a lot. Go ahead, buy a playmaking boost. You can go over here to the stand on next gen. You could just go on the menus, current gen. You can go on your phone and buy a playmaking boost. You could do that, okay? Now, this is another very important one right here. Now, on next gen and current gen, there is a Gatorade facility on both. You're going to want to do your Gatorade workouts or you're going to want to get Gym Rat, one of the two. Now, on next gen, you need to get like 50 drills in to get Gym Rat, and you can only do it three a day. Now, on current gen, as long as you do the little quest where you tour the boat and that starts at the main lobby. Basically, once you're doing that tour, as you're following the tour, you're going to meet this dude in the middle of the tour. When you talk to him, you're going to unlock the gym rat badge quest. And what that's going to do, I don't have it anymore because I already completed it. But the gym rat badge quest is going to be under here in your quest journal. It's going to be in here. And basically, all you have to do is either reach level 40 or you're going to have to win an NBA Finals in Micro. Now, make sure you do one of those two tasks after you have the quest unlocked. Because if you don't have the quest, then it's not going to give you the reward, which is Gym Rat. Now, what Gym Rat does is basically, as you can see on my physicals at the bottom of the screen, it's going to give me a plus four to all of those. And it's going to give me that extra stamina when I'm dribbling the ball. So you're definitely going to want that. It's going to make you faster, your acceleration better, your strength, your vertical, your stamina, all that good stuff. So make sure you do make an attempt at getting your Gym Rat badge, especially if you are a dribbler. Now, another thing you could do is in the back of the Gator facility on both next gen and and current gen there is a little fuel thing here you can buy gatorade here now gatorade can get pretty expensive um but basically what this gatorade stuff does is each of them help you get more stamina to dribble so the orange one is gonna uh, make you lose 25 percent less stamina when you're holding turbo um and then the blue one's gonna uh let you recover 25 percent more stamina than usual after holding turbo and the yellow one is going to increase your energy by 20 percent when using turbo right so you can really just choose whatever one you want now another way to get gatorade is to do three different things now some of these steps are not on next gen but some of them are of course on current gen so the first thing you can go to is the game room or wherever the spin the wheel is now speed the spin the wheel on next gen is where the statues are the spin the wheel on current gen is in here you can spin your wheel whether you have the elite wheel the regular wheel and on here you can win gatorade which can help you of course because you know gatorade is pretty expensive and sometimes you can win a lot of gatorade off the wheel so make sure you're spinning your wheel all the time basically every time you get on right see look at i got boost that could help me 10 boost that's gonna give me playmaking boost whatever that's gonna help now something that's not on next gen but is on current gen is you can go talk up to these guys and you can get free vc free boost and free gatorade number one you're gonna want to go to this dude right here sometimes this dude will just give you free gatorade and boost another way to get free gatorade and boost is go to the lobby and when you get to the lobby now by the way that little um tour that's gonna start right here for that gym rat badge by the way anyways um another thing you could do is you can go up to this lady right here she'll just give you vc like look at this i'm gonna click a look at the top bottom left i just got 9k vc look at i clicked it again i just got 5k vc clicked it again 
Got 1,600 VC. Look at, she's just handing out VC, right? Uh, another thing you could do is go over here and talk to this guy. And sometimes, look at, this dude gave me 10 skill boosts. And he gave me 10 Gatorade. Look at, free Gatorade and boost of VC just sitting here. Y'all didn't even know about it. Drop a like on the video if you didn't know that. And I just helped you out because I know not a lot of people know this. Anyways, that's it for the tips. Now it is time to enter the my core. We've been here a lot in these tutorial videos. Now, I'm this dribble tutorial is going to be such a W. I'm going to show you guys. I already showed you guys a bunch of stuff already in this video. Um, and not only that, I'm going to be showing you guys the best animations. I'm going to show you guys how to do all these things all in one video. I'm not making two separate videos. Another thing is I'm going to show you guys the best dribble animations for players that are taller than 6'4 and shorter than 6'4. Because you unlock certain dribble animations based off your ball handling rating and off your height. Okay, So if you're taller than 6'4, so if you're 6'4 and a half, 6'5, 6'6, 6'7, 6'8, these are going to be the best dribble move animations for you. And after we show you not only the best dribble animations for 6'4 and taller and 6'4 and shorter, I will be showing you how to do all these dribble moves. So let's get into my animations right now because these are the best dribble moves for 6'5 and taller players. Now dribble style, you're going to want to go with quick. You cannot get um, the other good dribble styles you can't get at um, a taller height. So quick is the best one for 6'5 and above. Signature size up, Dwayne Wade. Dwayne Wade and Jimmy Butler are the two best ones. But Dwayne Wade, you see that little like, look at, look at the start of this Dwayne Wade, watch. You see that little like, between the legs, that's really nice. A lot of people like using that. That's a W signature size up. Signature combo. Baron Davis. That is another very good one. Look at how fast Baron Davis is. Like, this is fast as hell for a signature combo. Now, this is another new season two release. The best size of escape package is Damian Lillard. Oh my god. When I tell you Damian Lillard is so good. If you're using LeBron Escape, take it off right now. Take it off. Take it off. You're using Trey Young. Take it off. Damian Lillard has a faster size up and it gets the, the AI step back. I'll be showing you guys that later on in this video. Uh, moving crossover, Kyrie Irving. Don't use LeBron anymore. LeBron used to be good, but Kyrie Irving is a new one and it's better. Moving behind the back now, they actually changed this. Now, the best behind the back used to be like Kawhi and it used to give you that huge jump right there that you guys just saw. But now for some reason, that one doesn't give you that anymore. And now Scotty Pippen gives you that little jump behind the, the best behind the back right so scotty pippen is the new best moving behind the back another season two release moving spin still Kawhi leonard definitely the best moving spin moving hesitation scotty pippen and moving step back jimmy butler make sure you have both of these on because the combination of these two is so much better now as you guys know in last season i said Kyrie irving was the best step back nope this year jimmy butler is gonna take the race with scotty pippen as a combined hesitation and step back and then triple threat normal two you don't need flashy passes but anyways that is going to be the best dribble moves for six five or taller now let's go ahead and show you guys the best dribble moves for six four and shorter and let's look at the differences all right so now i am on my six four players so this player gets all the six four and under dribble moves now it's going to be a little different with the dribble moves nothing crazy but just a little different now it's going to start off with the dribble style this is a new season two release you cannot get this on 6.5 or taller. Stephen Curry is the best dribble style. Um, it is better than quick. It's faster than quick. It feels smoother than quick. The dribble moves is chained better together. I had to say with quick. No, I meant with Stephen Curry. No, Stephen Curry is the new best version. I messed up on my words right there. But yeah, Stephen Curry is the best dribble style. Then signature sizes of Derrick Rose. This is the best move in the game. This is literally the best move in the game i'm going to show you guys later in this drill tutorial why derrick rose signature size up you do not get that on six five or taller signature combo still baron davis size of escape now i know it says normal but that's because there used to be a curry slide glitch in the game where you could get the curry slide and the ai step back if you did this like little test creator thing before you make a build but they passed that so you can't do it anymore but i still have it on normal because it still gives you that ai step back with the curry slide even though i don't use the curry slide but the ai step back is nice with this um but yeah if you didn't do that glitch just put on damian lillard it's basically better anyways um so yeah just use damian lillard i still still have it on normal because it still gives you that ai step back curry slide um moving behind the back once again scotty pippen moving spin once again Kawhi leonard moving hesitation once again scotty pippen moving step back once again jimmy butler and the rest is just the same normal two triple threat style so the only difference was the dribble style curry 
Derrick Rose signature size up. That's the only difference. Now, that's a big difference. And I'm going to show you guys why when I show you guys how to do all these drill moves. All right, so now I'm going to show you guys how to do all these drill moves, okay? Now, the best way to practice your drill moves is actually to do this little personal workout drill. So like I said, this is the best way to practice your drill moves. So I'm going to be showing you guys a bunch of drill moves in this video. So make sure you guys pay attention here. So the first one I'm going to do is the easiest drill move that you could do this on any player, right? Um, no matter the height, it's just going to be the little size up, right? So you're going to point the right stick diagonally up opposite ball handle. So if I have the ball in my right hand, I'm going to point it up diagonal left. And I'm going to hold it up there. If it's in my left hand, diagonal right up while holding the right trigger. Boom. And I can just do that back and forth. So I'm just pointing the right stick diagonal up opposite ball handle while holding the right trigger simple as that right go right oh see i messed up so if you, do, if you do a momentum it means you're holding the left stick too early after you run so you got to make sure that animation plays out you know what i'm saying so you run one way do it the other way now another move you guys want to do is this little hop back this hop back is a huge w you can do this on all heights there's not really an animation you actually need to do it and it's this move right here this is a huge w move so how to do it is you want to hold the right trigger while holding the right trigger you're gonna flick the right stick to the opposite ball handle so if i have the ball hand my if i have the ball in my left hand i'm gonna flick it to the right while holding the left stick back so I'm going to flick the left stick back, flick the right stick to the right while holding the right trigger and oh, and boom, there you go. So I'm going to flick it to the left now and then pull my stick back all in one motion while holding the right trigger. I'm holding the right trigger while doing this and you can literally just spam this once again. If the ball's in my left hand, I'm going to flick the right stick to the right and then immediately put my left stick diagonal or down straight and lick it. I can just spam that. I can run out of it. This is a huge W move. If you don't know how to do this move, make sure you know how to do this move because it's, it's actually a very easy move and it's very effective. Now, another move that you're going to want with the new Damian Lillard size of escape is the AI step back. This is, this is a W. This is a W step back. Make sure you have this size of escape on Damian Lillard. Hold the right trigger. Flick your right stick back. Boom. Simple as that. AI step back. You can run one way with it, run to the right. You can run the same way with it. This is a good move for two ways, especially two, even play shots. What I'm gonna show you guys is the Derrick Rose speed boost. This speed boost move is only, you can only do with this 6'4 and under player. So it's that Derrick Rose uh, signature move that I, guys, that I showed you guys on that 6'4 under player earlier in the video. So you have to have that animation unlocked. Once you um, do that little size up like this, so remember you hold the right trigger, you flick the right stick diagonal up, after you do that, you're going to want to flick the right stick up diagonal left, and then it's going to switch ball hands, and then you're going to want to run out of it. So watch. I'm going to do this. Boom. And I can speed boost out of it, right? So I'm going to explain that again. So let's say I have the ball in my right hand. I'm going to hold the right trigger, flick the right stick diagonal left, and as soon as I do that, I'm going to flick the right stick up diagonal right, and then I'm going to run out of it, okay? So we're going to do that all in one motion and boom. And you can just spam this as many times as you'd like. Now I'm going to do it the opposite way. So let's say I have the ball in my left hand. I'm going to hold the right stick diagonal up right while holding the right trigger and then flick my right stick diagonal up left and run out of it. And boom. You can spam this move as much as you like. This is literally the fastest move in the game. And it is the called the Derrick Rose speed boost move. And you need to be 6'4 under to do it. But... It's very effective. If you're a play shot, you need to know how to do this move because this is the best move in the game right now. Now, another very glitchy move I'm going to show you guys, you can do this on any height, is this little speed boost where it's kind of like a slide move where let's say I'm running to the rim right here. I can like come out of it or I could literally just go right left. It's kind of like a right left move. It's very effective, especially really on any build, to be honest, especially if you could shoot. Now, without touching the right trigger, you don't want to touch the right trigger right here. You're going to flick the right stick up diagonally right, which is opposite ball handle because the ball hand is in my left hand. Right when you do that, I'm talking about like as soon as you do that, as you're doing it, basically, you're going to want to hold the left stick to the whatever way you're running towards. So the right in this situation and the right trigger. So I'm going to flick the right stick up diagonal and I'm going to run. Flick the right stick up diagonal left. And then I'm going to run. And you can just do that back. You can literally just spam this. Back, right, left, right, left, right, left. And you can just keep spamming that. Okay. Now, you can obviously combo this up with a lot of other moves. I'm going to explain this one more time, though. So make sure you are listening. So 
you're going now by the way if you're let's say you're practicing this move right now if you're getting like something like this where it doesn't give it to you it's you're not moving your left you're not doing the left stick of the right trigger thing fast enough after the diagonal up motion okay so you're gonna want to flick the right stick up diagonally and as soon as you do that the left stick and the right trigger to the right okay so i'm gonna flick the right stick up and i'm gonna run flick, flick the right stick up diagonally left and then run to the left with my right trigger boom and look at that look at how good this bro you know this move is op when i'm juking the ai look at the ai he can't even keep up that's how you know this move is godlike bro now before we had the Kyrie irving step back which would give us that 2k 17 step back now we use jimmy butler step back and i want to tell you why so basically when you run to the left you want to do this step back you're gonna hold the right trigger while running to the left and just flick your right stick back okay so i'm running to the right flick my right stick back with the right trigger and look at just keep holding your left stick forward this move is crazy it's so much faster than that Kyrie long step back look at oh my god look at this look at this bro you're gonna be able to oh my god the amount of combos you are gonna be able to do with this move i can go back here i could just do this around the whole court and it is look at how fast that speed boost move is out of that. It's, that's crazy. I ain't gonna lie to you. But once again, all you're gonna do is hold the right trigger, run to the left with your left, run to the right with your left stick, and then just flick the right stick back while holding the left trigger to whichever way you wanna run, right? And I could just do this all day long. All right, so now I'm gonna show you guys the rhythm dribble. Basically, all you do is hold the right trigger and then hold the right stick up for a little bit, and you could just kinda like, look at, just kinda go out of it, right? Oh my God, look at how fast. You, now, the longer you hold the right stick up is the longer the animation plays out for. The reason why this animation that we're using is so good is because it does that little between the leg and that can just run. This is Baron Davis, by the way. Um, and you can really just combo out of this or you can use this as an easy way to just speed boost out of this move, right? But yeah, this is the rhythm dribble. The more you hold off the right stick, the more the animation plays out. The best way to move this to utilize this move is to run out of the animation as soon as you're done doing that little between the leg to give you that big boost out of that animation. Now another thing you do is the little behind the back. So let's say I'm running to the right. You're gonna wanna run to the right with your left stick and your right trigger. And then you're going to wanna let go of everything. Flick the right stick diagonal left down and then hold the right and run to the, the left, right? So I'm gonna do my hesitation. I can do this behind the back, boom behind the back or i can sit here behind the back so i'm just doing right stick diagonal opposite ball hand down and then i'm just running simple as that so right stick diagonal down left and then i'm running right stick diagonal down right and then i'm running so yeah you can really just do this behind the back out of anything now another thing is that attack behind the back now i can't really do it on harden because he's just gonna be in the way but it's basically that behind the back where you just put the right stick diagonal down and then just hold the left stick up while you're running holding the right trigger but yeah so just diagonal down opposite ball handle so if i had the ball in my right hand diagonal down left if i had the ball in my um left hand we're gonna do diagonal down right and that's just basically a good move to do while you're driving to the basket just to give you to the basket faster now this spin back i'm about to show you guys is actually very good too a lot of people always ask me about this spin back once again we're using Kawhi leonard um all you have to do is let's say i'm running to the straight with the ball in my left hand is you're gonna flick the right you're gonna hold the right stick up and go in a counter clockwise motion from 12 to six o'clock while you're holding the right stick up. So I'm running, boom, 12 to six, six. Now if you have the ball in your right hand, you're gonna do clockwise 12 to six. So I'm gonna run, boom, 12 to six. You have to make sure after you do this clockwise motion, counterclockwise motion, that you're pulling the left stick immediately down. You know what I mean? Otherwise it's just gonna give you this weird spin back that you don't want. So as soon as, you're done doing that range of motion with the clock hold the left stick immediately down now before we get into like the combo stuff you can quick stop with three different ways i'm not gonna just we're not gonna just take a we're not gonna take a long time with this basically you can use the left trigger to quick stop or you can do the right stick to the right if you're going to the left the right stick to the left and quick stop and shoot that way or you could just let go of everything so those are your three quick stop options shouldn't be too hard i explained that in the last dribble tutorial as well now there's a lot of moves that we learned today a lot of moves that you guys are going to want to get your mic court right now and just combo up with now what i mean by that is just chain these moves together try to figure out some glitchy ways to chain these moves together now the best moves i showed you in today's video was definitely that left right move which is this thing 
this is like bro like i said if we're killing the ai that's how you know we're going crazy um the derrick rose speed boost if you're six four or shorter make sure you know how to do that one um because that's definitely a w move like if you don't know how to do that then you're tripping like look at th look at this look at this move it's literally fast bro okay anyways make sure you have the ai step back in your arsenal as well another great easy move literally the easiest move in this video and one of the most effective ones as well and of course that hesitation step back thing another easy move and one of the most effective moves in this video but yeah even just those four moves right there if you know how to do all four of those and you can just combo those up even the spin bag Bro, you can really turn into a demon just off this simple dribble tutorial. Anyways, guys, hopefully this video helped you out at all. If it did, make sure to drop a like on this video. Subscribe to the channel if you guys are new. We have plenty of content videos on the channel as well if you're looking into videos like that. But anyways, y'all, it's been your boy Henry, aka HDF, and I'm out, y'all. Peace. I ain't never had no friends. I was all alone. She ain't never called my phone. She left me on my own. They saying all girls are the same. Probably they're my dog. She said, can you stay with me? Now I got a girl. Diamond dripping off my neck. It's wet. I'm about to flex up on my nuts. With a jet. You said you with it.